sing. Friends and neighbors. Or shall I say this afternoon? Welcome back to the political process here on the channel. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. Uh, we left off in week one of 2024, where we were just elected mayor of Allegheny County, or I guess mayor of Pittsburgh. Not sure whether it's a city or county mayoral position, but bottom line is it's a big step for us. We've got a bunch of money now in campaign funds. Our personal savings are starting to go up and they'll go up even more now that we're making 60 grand a year a uh, quick housekeeping item i know i talked last episode about the video camera or the webcam footage um and what i noticed is that like i went back and watched the first episode after i had posted it and didn't see any of that choppiness that i was talking about so i realized that it's just within the actual recording app that when it's doing the playback on there, it's choppy, but like the raw footage is fine and the finished product is fine. So anyway, we will continue to rock the um, the webcam. I realize that it's like down here in the bottom left of the screen and it covers up some of the content. I might eventually maybe move it over to the bottom right. I'm gonna try and kind of keep an eye on where things are on screen to figure out where it'll have the least impact, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. Now, <clears throat> as you can see here, we made some campaign promises to increase per capita income over 58,365 per year, lower crime below 11.5%, and reduce congestion by building more roads. Now, we have one year to accomplish these goals. So we've got to make sure that we pass legislation that helps with that. I don't know how much of that I can control, at least not with road congestion, because like I need to alter the budget to account for that. And I'm not sure that I can get that done within the calendar year. So that might be a little bit interesting, but like I don't need to do anything here on the campaigns thing um as far as i know at least i don't need to do that we'll make sure that we continue to keep this stuff automated uh i feel like that's probably a good idea and then if we go into the office this is bothering me here with the protege situation but now you can see here i've got more protege positions available um this is my wife <laughs> Uh, does it say that anywhere? Family. Boom. Elaine Glassman. So, she is my um, protege as well, apparently. So, there's that. But we have room for three more. We're going to go ahead and, like, pick a few here. Let's say we'll just get somebody on the school board, because why not? Uh... And then we will pick somebody for another city council, I guess, because why not? And then we'll do a mayor, because why not? So now we've got all those spots full, and I'm still not sure exactly how protégés work. We probably could go into... Where was it? Uh, there was something like concepts, I believe, in the... Um in one of the tabs and why I'm not able to find it now uh, kind of bought oh here it is concepts so where is anybody see protege uh, proteges so protege they, they share our opinion they allows, okay, you're allowed more protégés as your political points increase. Okay, once they reach 70, they retire. I'm not sure. See, it still doesn't really say when deciding in which election you want your protege to run, you can look at the districts page to see which politicians are not seeking re-election. Anyway, it's, it's not a big deal. 
All I care about is my career. It would be nice whoops, if I had a better understanding of how those work so that I could use them to kind of help me along the way. Uh, but it's it's not a huge deal. So what we need to be looking at now is state laws that have changed. So they've already increased or city laws. They've increased the minimum wage within the city to 11 bucks. That's good. Um, state laws, the minimum wage is nine. We already exceed that, so we're good. And here, this is a big one. State law has legalized cannabis. So way to go, Pennsylvania. Pretty progressive there. And realistically, the value here, just kind of breaking it down, is you get a bunch of tax revenue. You decriminalize a lot of the things associated with marijuana, um, which keeps people out of the, you know, the legal system for, for like just marijuana related stuff like that. And you can, um, you, you know, you have more control over like the product basically. So bottom line is there's not a, there's arguments for and against it, but if you really like look at the reality of it, like it brings in cash and it's not a drug on par with other um, criminalized drugs. Like it's just not even in the same league. So I'm cool with that, uh, especially since it's just a video game. So, all right, let's get to work here. For legislation, let's go one week and just see if we get any of those goals accomplished. Um, so look how much money we're raising now. I need to create a city budget, but let's first go into challenges. And would you look at this? Would you look at this? We already got all of them completed and we didn't even have to do anything. So that's nice. Campaign promises have been met. I wish the, the game made those a little bit more, um, you know, like an actual something that you got to do to go win. But again, it's just a game. So I need to create the city budget. So, like, if we look right now at, like, just the way things already are whenever we go in here, the treasury is running a deficit at the moment. So there's, so okay, so here, this is how much we actually have in the treasury, which is negative, which means we actually owe money to people right now. That's not good. And then we're also set to lose money this year. So what we need to try and do is find a way to increase tax revenue, you know, increase revenue and or decrease expenditures. So this is going to get a little bit interesting here because, again, we're talking city level taxes. I am not going to do anything with income taxes simply because I feel like those are something that should start at the state level and then the federal level uh, as far as ways that you're going to tax people's individual incomes. So we are not going to do a flat tax either. City property tax, I would love to increase simply because like it's at 1.76 now. If I increase it, rats oh my gosh okay so that's it 118 if i increase it that's like 7 million in additional so let's go like to 1.8 i know people aren't going to be like again it's just a game i don't think that's going to make a lot of people super upset but that's one quick way for us to do that um we could also institute a corporate tax rate. So if I go like this and say, boom, and do it like, honestly, I could forget this. Let's go back down on the corp on the city tax rate or property tax rate, and let's tax corporations a half of a percent. And look how much money that brings in. That already gets us to where we're really close here. Let's go 0.6%. Both of those numbers move into the green. And that's awesome. We might also be able to do some things down lower here to 
um, to impact expenses. So let's see what we're dealing with here. So right now we're just looking at, I believe, the finance side of things. Did I miss? Okay, yeah, we had, so like here's where we started. Now we move down uh, building and housing. And I don't think we're gonna change anything here. Social services, I don't think we're gonna mess with. Transportation. You see last year's budget for maintenance, both of these are down. We're gonna probably just leave them down simply because like where we are right now is like we've gotten to where we're in a better spot. What we need to make sure of though is if there's an area where all of a sudden like this year the budget is way higher than it was last year we're gonna fix that so like here last year's budget was 50 million and this year they're asking for 59 mil we can bring that down like basically split the difference and say about 55 and a half and now i can go back into finance and balance that out so we're gonna mess with the expenditures and then we might not even need to put in the corporate tax so let's look at that um, so basically we're looking for areas where we've increased the budget see like same thing here police budget is way up from last year so why is that Last year's budget, total budget request, although here is what they're actually showing that we're going to give them. So 359, we can probably afford to come back up on that a little bit. I don't want to come that far down when this is what they're asking for and this is what we're giving them. That's a huge delta. So that's no bueno. Last year's budget, we're down, down. We're down, we're down again, we're down. So that's where we're gonna leave that. And now we're back in a situation where we don't have a whole lot of wiggle room. Uh, so the fire brigade, look at the difference here. Last year they got 151 million, they won 177 million. We're gonna drop this down and go like 165. And again, we've got a big surplus. I think I'm actually gonna go back I'm going to leave the rest of this stuff pretty much the same unless there's another big impact. Okay, so let's go back to the police one and give them some of what we just picked up. Boom, right there. So now we're closing this gap. It's still not perfect, but it's better. Public safety, we will leave. City attorneys. I'm just looking for anything like crazy terms of changes year over year and I don't see any that are that big of a deal like this total one is a little over a million bucks that's not that big of a deal public works that's a big improvement we're gonna drop this down to 16 and a half human resources looking good libraries are up a bunch we're gonna cut that down a little bit sorry libraries parks and rec that's up eight mil we're gonna drop that down to a four million actually no that's up 12 mil so let's go more like that and now again we've got an extra eight million bucks basically that I can give back to the police department uh, so we're gonna bring that deficit down to just barely in the green that's pretty solid and now what I can do is I can come back in here to this corporate tax rate and drop this down, hopefully. Nope, I can't either. So we're gonna leave it right there. Uh, in fact, let's go back into public libraries and give them a little bit more of their cash back because it's for the children. All right, we're gonna submit that budget and we will see if um, the rest of our you know city council or whatever are on board with that idea which we pro i don't think we'll know that for a while so 
All right, we got new challenges. And my legislation for the budget has passed by a vote of 11 to 4. So if we look here, there's where we see that. I have new challenges to reduce gun laws. We are not going to do that. So that's awesome. Now, isn't there something like... I could have sworn... Whatever. It's fine. So now all I need to do is vote on the legislation for the corporate tax. And I guess that's the one that they had to really vote on because the rest of the budget is just like appropriations. So I'm going to say I support this. Skadoosh. And now we're ready to move along. Um, presidential primary. We don't need to watch. But let's at least take a look here. Pete Short. I thought... Whatever. Okay. So, schedule is empty. I don't care about the presidential primaries. So, these peeps want us to reduce property taxes, which we might have actually been able to do. I can do that next year. So, we're good there. The loosening gun control laws, we don't... We're not going to deal with but we'll leave it in here for now just so it doesn't keep popping up and making me look in like oh what's my new challenge all right so presidential primary coverage that's really early in the year we don't care about that at this point uh, but you see here my fundraising is actually reduced raising some political points and a little bit of cash now for the democratic party which is cool but more importantly like we're raising a bunch of funds for my campaign war chest which is awesome so we'll be in the mayor's seat for a while and we will rack up a bunch of cash in the process but i won't really need to do a whole lot for a while here like we're just burning through weeks because most of what i needed to do this year is already done with setting the budget all right so Okay, so here come some elections. And what are we looking at here? Senate. There are some Senate races, apparently. There are House races, which we want to keep an eye on. The governor's seat is not up for grabs in Pennsylvania. State Senate, state house are all up for grabs as well so here's what we're going to do we're going to skip to the end and now what i want to see is all right so oh this is just the primaries so not that important you know because that's just to determine who's going to be representing each party in the general elections later this year so I really wish that there was a little bit more that you could do. But again, it's like this game is not like, uh, you know, a what's the word I'm going for? I mean, it's a simulation of the processes. It's not like a sim simulation of the day to day life of this kind of person. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of weeks like this or stretches like this where I just don't do anything. OK, so the city budget process has finished a new budget and has been passed by the city council i will be able to review that budget at the beginning of the year under the metrics tab cool 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 uh any challenges here no nope, nothing's changed there any big news here wait 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 what is this how have I oh okay i was like wait what so you see here like this is the last thing we did i signed this corporate tax into law in the city then harvey emerson submitted a minimum wage bill got rejected so it never got to my desk adeline simpson submitted an assault weapon ban bill it didn't pass it, you know it got rejected by city council so it didn't make there now here i submitted the city budget to the city council 
So we won't see anything on that for a little while. I was like, how did I miss having to vote on something? But I didn't, because nothing got to me. And all I'm really doing is either signing it into law or trying to veto it, which I can only do... Um, I mean, I can do it no matter what if I want to, but it'll only, like, it'll be symbolic if there are already enough votes to pass it, even in light of my veto. So, anyway. Yeah, let's watch the election night coverage. And, again, we'll just skip to the end here. So, the president is now a Democrat. As you can see here, they won Pennsylvania, and then they got 336 of the electoral votes. So, Dorothy Orozco is now going to be the president of the United States. Democrats also gained three seats in the Senate. So, they've got the majority there. In the House, they gained six seats, and they've got a majority there. So, Republicans are in trouble for a, a little while here. The governor races landed in favor of well actually no nobody gained any seats at the governor level state senate the democrats in pennsylvania gained a seat but they're still outnumbered three to two so that's interesting state house democrats gained seven seats and they have the majority there so there you go overall a pretty good election season for the democrats in pennsylvania notably though the senate is still pretty um, heavily in favor of the republicans all right now i think we're ready to go to the um wait the following staff members have retired press secretary but like i don't see any of that anywhere because I can't see my staff um, anyway so here's something that we kind of want to keep an eye on here um, actually we want to look at federal senate seats so our senators are Bob Phillips and C Camilla Fuentes um approval ratings are pretty good for both my policy agreement with both of them is pretty high if one of these two were to not run for re-election we would probably throw our name into the hat we've got a pretty good amount of cash banked in our war chest to where i think we could um win same thing goes, I guess, ultimately with the Pennsylvania House, especially if it's like a district like this one. This dude decides not to run for re-election or heck, this one right here would be even better where it's super heavily Democratic. Um, that would be one where I would also consider throwing my name into the you know, a jump from mayor to the House of Representatives, <coughs> excuse me, is still pretty significant. Um, but we'll look, we'll deal with that when the time comes. I would probably rather go to the Senate, um, but that's a bigger jump. So, all right. Yes, let's attend the Thanksgiving parade. Like, why do they have that in there in the schedule of events? But, like, I don't go to, you know, like a city homecoming parade or a 4th of July parade. St. Patty's Day parade would be cool. You know what I mean? Maybe it depends on the city you live in. I don't know. Like Boston and Chicago, you might have to go to a St. Patty's Day parade. All right. So, nothing going on in... Um, those last few weeks of the year now as we move forward here we go so lots to today to make note of here we passed the city law where there's now a corporate tax state law um i thought there already was this but maybe i missed the cannabis laws 
that there's now a cannabis sales tax rate of 2.5. And now there are no like elections this year, so we don't need to do anything there. But to start the year, we do need to go meet with all of these peeps to get reports from them. So the fire chief, nothing much to report. Everything's running smoothly. They got a new puppy and his name is Martin. Cool. Everything's going well. Last year, crime increased. So we might need to give a little bit more funding to the police department. Department of Transportation. 80% of roads are in good position or condition. That's good. 41% of roads have con congestion. That's not ideal, but I think that is down a little bit. Increase road construction and create a gas or wheel tax to help fund those projects. We could consider that. Department of Corrections. We have zero programs designed to reduce recidivism. Um, and that's basically how likely somebody is to like get out of jail and then commit another crime and go back to jail. So they're saying we might increase some you know or add some programs like that because we have zero okay building and housing looking over the data has approximately 2500 homeless individuals of those 100 percent report having access so that's good homelessness did not increase that's good parks and rec uh pleasure to meet they're doing very well and look forward to my continued support. All right, cool, Nigel. Now, if I go into, uh, wait, 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 challenges, we're going to go ahead and dismiss this one and this one. We'll keep these on here because we might be able to afford to do this with this year's budget. So we are ready now to move forward and we will need to set the budget here. So when we go in, this is, the, again, this is the big job of the mayor is... You know the the budget etc <clears throat> if you look at our treasury we now have a pretty big surplus and that's awesome uh or we have 76 million sitting in the bank okay this deficit would only take 11 million from this number so on an annual basis we're cool to go ahead and just run with that because we'd still be in the positive and that's ultimately what you want to do it's okay to have fluctuations year to year as long as you don't end up in the red so that's what we're shooting for here we're not going to do anything with income tax or flat taxes city to property tax rate okay how much can we afford to reduce this that's pretty significant right there um, and leaves us to where this would put this number back into the red. That right there is like dead on. And I love it. <laughs> uh, hang on a second. I need to clean my room as brushes. <clears throat> so that's that. Now the corporate tax rate, I think we will leave where it is. So I'm wondering if we should institute a gas tax or a wheel tax. Um, for right now, I think we're going to avoid that and we'll maybe come back to it. So what I want to find, where is the cannabis tax? <clears throat> That maybe we have to pass that through legislation first. So we'll come back to that. So building and housing, we were actually good here. Um, and we're not even doing anything with those. Like this budget here is not even approved. So we're good on all of these programs. Building Commission, that's fine. That's not that big of a, a difference. Okay, so here I can't 
adjust the budget anyway. So, like, all of those we don't have, so we don't need to do anything there. Was this... Okay, that was social services. So, transportation. They're saying we probably want to put a little bit more into road construction. So, let's maybe see about bumping this up from 94 to like 97 or 98 and now we got to drop this down a little bit and maybe this to make up for it so we're still good corrections so here is where if we did something like a drug rehab program that would help and not kill us here Okay, they're asking for basically a million bucks to do that, and we're still close there. So we're okay doing that, and I think that that would, you know, be supported by, um, by the city council. So that's that. Now, police department, if you remember, they... Oh man, see here, last year's budget was 383 and they want us to go down again. We can't do that. Dang it. This is bad. We've got to try and figure out a, ma a way to make this work. So let's crank this back up to at least what we spent last year. But that means we got to get creative with some other stuff because now we have a big time deficit here. Why did my city treasury go down? Interesting. Huh. We're going to actually increase the budget a little bit from last year, but apparently that's giving out grants or something. Like, money is going out right away if we do this. So that's no bueno, but I think we've got to try and figure out a way to make it work. The fire department was doing great. They even got a new dog, didn't they? So we're actually going to reduce their budget, and hopefully that'll help close the gap a little bit public safety we're gonna leave where it is uh city attorney i think we're good public works let's reduce that down to basically what it was last year right there human resources i don't think we need to do anything here public libraries we're gonna reduce that by a million bucks ish and then Parks and Rec. So they're asking for more money. I'm sorry, but you're not gonna get it. So now we're really close on the deficit. So what we will do is go back in here. I wanna go up, not down. To once, what was, where were we? 171, 172 puts us on the good side of this, right? Yeah. So that's still lower than where it was, but it gets us back to where we will be running in the red, or well, this number will still be green at the end of this year. So let's go ahead and hit that budget. And then another thing that we're gonna do um, right now is we're gonna go into legislation, create legislation, and where's crime? cannabis laws so right here possession is not allowed sale is not allowed at the state level it is so we're going to put this on the on the board uh, to get it passed so that is big <clears throat> if that passes that'll create another tax stream for us so the city council approved the uh, tax reduction which is awesome so let's go continue and we will support that so that's now a law crime rehabilitation Ooh, what's this oh we lowered the uh, property taxes so crime rehabilitation here is setting up that program so this will just establish the program now it's going to cost a little bit of money but we put that into the budget so we support that now that is into law and that was 10 to 5 so basically democrats voted for it republicans were against it 
next is the cannabis legality and 13 to 2 it passes heck yeah so now if i go into legislation and i say crime and i go down here to cannabis laws i can legalize the sale because now possession is legal let's go ahead and legalize the sale skadoosh and that's going to create tax revenue so it passed 13 to 2 as well i go here support and it's now a law and now if i go back in to cannabis tax continue true and we're gonna crank this up like you want to sell it you're gonna pay that's eight million bucks although it's two and a half at the state level i think so let's be right in line with the state level oh come on with this it cancel try this again it defaults to two and a half percent that's four million bucks let's get it and that should pass next turn 13 to 2 again we support that and now that's a law so we just got a lot done here in early 2025 they still want us to loosen gun laws and that's just not going to happen so i don't think we'll need to do anything for a while now so let's just kind of like especially in a non-election year no we don't well let's just see okay so it looks like there's a vote for uh a couple of governors we don't really care that much so moving along we do not time we're getting pretty close so this year should be a really quick one so we'll probably just burn through this frankly nothing on the um, schedule so new budget is finished and we'll be able to see that at the end of the year there will be some elections here but i'm honestly not even sure oh this that was the government or the governor primary and then there oh, whoa whoa i didn't know you could do that you can like really break this down and see um county by county let's skip and just see who wants uh so no changes as far as the seats democrats won both states and they already held the office so nothing super noteworthy there we will go to the thanksgiving day parade and smoke some reefer because it's legal sorry <laughs> um all right that's it so we're now at the end of the year now here is where we need to look at some things because i don't care about the state representative seat but this one is in the house of representatives at the federal level so if i go to politicians federal house what was the dude's name warren siegel warren siegel is who we're looking for here and we go to house and i don't care about new jersey so house uh i guess politicians and i want to see where that dude is warren where are you i don't see warren siegel oh this is showing like by state i want well, whatever. Let's go down to Pennsylvania. Holy moly. I didn't realize that it would show all of them. I thought it would show it just for the state you represent. But it's cool. Let's get to uh, PA, and we're looking for Warren C. We got to go through the N's, the O's. We're not quite as close as I thought here. Holy moly. That's a lot of people. 
Oregon. Okay. So, Warren Siegel, where are you at, dude? Freja Watts. Wilbur. Okay, so Fre Warren Siegel, <clears throat> he is a member of the Moderate Democratic Coalition. He is from Pennsylvania District 17. He's got a 65% approval rating, 70% policy agreement with me. Um, so what we'll need to do at the beginning of the next episode is decide if we want to run for this guy's position. Um, but we will decide in the next episode. So if you have not done so already, please be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and we will see y'all next time. Shall I say this afternoon?